Under normal circumstances, the waters of the Congo River would quietly flow downstream, ferrying people and their property, feeding villages and keeping the people on the move. But things have been different since late in 2023. Historically, the Congo River has brought economic development to the settlements through which it passes. However, this year, owing to the flood situation, its waters continue to wreak havoc on those very same settlements. Kitenge village in the Republic of Congo is one of many settlements which sit on the banks of the massive Congo River. Its residents are now reeling from the impact of the recent floods. The flooding began in November when the region received exceptionally high amounts of rainfall. The Congo River has um, occasionally had flooding, um, but we've never had um, the extent of the flooding that we've had this year. It really hit this country badly this time. Uh, we had uh, nine out of 12 provinces affected. Uh, we had uh, almost two million people affected by the flooding, displaced. Affected Kitenga residents fled their homes in search of higher, safer ground. Some found it at the local market, where they camped in the wide open space. Others moved to the only primary school in the village. They turned the classrooms into shared living spaces. Right now, we are looking for rental houses to move into. But even so, we don't have the money and their children stopped going to school. It happened, some sent their children away to Brazzaville. Others kept their children at home. Since last Monday, only the pupils who will be sitting their exams have returned to class. Both the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Republic of Congo, which sit on different sides of the Congo River, have declared the floods national disasters. The waters have affected livelihoods, cut off transportation to some regions along the river, and left hundreds of thousands of residents grappling with an uncertain future. And the threat of outbreaks of waterborne diseases loom. Officials say the country is usually able to handle emergencies of this kind since the Congo River often breaks its banks, but this time the impact has been catastrophic. Humanitarian organizations continue to call for urgent aid to ease the situation. Uh, we've had um, entire dispensaries and hospitals submerged in water. Uh, we've had uh, desperate situations like uh, pregnant women delivering on canoes. Um, and uh, because all the health facilities have really uh, been um, affected. In the affected villages, a section of residents are cautiously returning to the water's edge as the waters subside. This is our village. We grew up here and we have had our children here. So there is nowhere else to go. We will stay here. But they also watch the skies for signs of the rainy days they fear may still lie just over the horizon. Wilkisanyabwa CGTN, Brazzaville, the Republic of Congo.